welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Um, yes, we're in a different setting. I'm actually in the bed. <laughs> I have you in the bed with me. No, that's a joke. Um, <laughs> I, um, I'm in the bed because my shoulder, I, um, hurt it in a bad car wreck. And it's been many years ago. Um, but occasionally I can do something or pick up something or just it, the weirdest things and it re-injures my shoulder and I have to take medicine because it hurts really, really bad. And when I take those medicines, um, yeah, I really shouldn't be walking because I will definitely fall down. Anyway, so that's why I'm in the bed, but I still wanted to do, um something because I was bored and I'm tired of watching YouTube so um I have these coasters and I generally don't do anything to my coasters I just do the pour on them and then I resin them but um I have some acrylic paint pens and I just thought how cool would it be to add some borders to my coasters I did a test run with another set that I was just kind of like Meh, it doesn't matter if it works or not, you know, but it they turn out really, really pretty. So I thought I would show you, um, kind of what I do. So, um, here is one I've started. What I do is take a, I just get a ruler. The T ruler is, seems to work the best because you can place it on the edge and it holds it in place. And so on the, on my T ruler is this notched area you can see right here and so I fit the corner of the ceramic tile into this notched area and then I um draw a line it comes out looking to be about half an inch so I'm gonna um demonstrate that this is not anything super fancy but um it's just I just thought I would share this for you guys, you, you know, if you if you do coasters, um, then there's some something to just add some detail. So I've just got this six H graphite graphite pencil. I like to use the um. Well, I just this is a bit difficult. I'm normally doing it with two hands. Um, I like to use the graphite pencil because they're easier to get off of the um tile. If I make a, a blunder um, with it. So it doesn't matter if I'm crossing over the corner bit. Let me see if I can get this back. If I'm crossing over the corner bit, it doesn't matter. Because this is, I mean, we're going to paint this. So um, if you're wondering what I got you propped up on, the towel is actually on a, um, a cookie pan. Because <laughs> um, I don't. I, don't, I need one of those desks, um, like a lap desk, a lap desk, is that what they call these things? Anyway, so, um, I've got me a good line on there, and, um, so, I'm gonna do that to all my coasters, I've got three of them done, I, I thought, hmm, maybe I should make a video of this after I had done two of them um so i'm gonna do this one i'll be right back all right so i have all my coasters marked and i'm gonna use this um product this is by artisan it's acrylic paint markers they're from hobby lobby and i found these actually on the clearance aisle and bought four packs of them um and forgot I had them and so whenever I thought about doing this I pulled out my um craft smart ones that I had gotten from Michael's y'all uh some of those pens I hadn't even used and they were dried up and I haven't had them but maybe a month so I don't know but uh I was not happy with that um so then I remembered I had got these and I went and um pulled them out and this is the Earth Tones palette. It had a black and white in it. But the cool thing about these um, 
is that they're they have an interchangeable tip so this is the tip that comes with the um pen like that's what's going to be inside of it but on the side like where this was was a chisel tip and I just put that into my um, pen, and they're great for this um, creating a border. So they they just snap off and on. And even if you've used it, you can pull it out and you can change them up. So um, yeah, I really really like them. All you have to do is oh, I'm shaking my camera, but all you have to do is like shake them like this, and there's a little ball in it. And just shake them until you can tell that the ball is moving around freely. And then, um, you know, just depress the, the stopper. And, um, till the paint flows. And they're working great. So, I'm just following my lawn. I've already done the other three. Because, seriously, guys, this is the simplest thing in the world. Um, it helps, though. I tried... First, um, just putting the ruler down and drawing, you know, with the with the pen, and um, it was okay. But I made some baubles, so drawing that line and then using it as a guide really does help. So I'm not gonna do this whole coaster because it really is very repetitious. I just wanted to show you guys. I just paint down this and then it's always bothered me that my coasters edges were not very even looking like sometimes they get painted you know sometimes the paint goes down the side and sometimes they're just bare so I just take and color that edges this is acrylic paint so it's not like this is a sharpie marker this is the same um I'm not mixing mediums here. It's the same. So, you just using it in a pen. And if you don't have pens, if you have a fine paintbrush, um, you can use that. And do the exact same thing. It's just these pens are so convenient, especially with me not being in my art room and doing this. Um, they're just great. And I actually, you know, I can throw I can throw them in my bag and um, take a set of tiles with me to work. And then when I'm on my lunch break, I can just paint a set of, I can just paint a border on. Because, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. And then... I'm going to let these dry and everything. The one thing I don't know, and maybe one of you guys will know, and if you do, I would appreciate it if you'd let me know, um, is do I have to let the border cure like I let the paint cure? Or is it just, I mean, just letting it dry for a day or two and then um, putting my resin on, will it be okay? Because I do want to resin these. I'm trying to get ready for the little festival that I may get a booth in. I'm still not sure. But anyway, if you guys know if the uh, if you have to wait. Like, because I wait about, I try to wait about a month before I put a varnish or resin on any kind of um, pour. So, yeah, if you guys know know how long I should wait I would appreciate that but um other than that these are just they're great they work just like a sharpie marker and the paint is really um pigmented so it's not it's covering it really really well and the other color did it performed the same way so I don't think it's it's not just because this is black so anyway yeah that's my little, um, just a little quick little thing, uh, for you guys. If you want to add a border to your coasters, um, do this before you put a varnish or resin on it. And, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed this and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.